Hey guys and welcome to my PHP tutorial. Um, I'm Rascal999 and this tutorial will cover the basics in using PHP. Um, so yeah, let's begin. Okay, for a testing environment I've used my own PC. Um, I'm using a program called XAMP which enables me to use PHP. Um, it's a very cool program. If you Google it you'll, you'll be able to find it and download it. And uh, yeah, let's begin. Okay, the first thing you got to consider, you'll note when doing PHP, is the following two tags. Okay, these two tags uh, signify the beginning and the end of the PHP script. Okay, you got to have that. These two tags are very important, so make sure you don't forget them. Okay, start, end of PHP. You can have anything preceding the PHP tags or going before the PHP tags, but you know anything. Yeah, this this is the content of the PHP, okay? PHP script. Right. Okay, the first statement we're going to cover is uh, fairly easy. It's the echo statement. Um, we're going to do that. Okay. Hello world. Right. Can you guess what that does? If you can't, don't worry. I'm gonna refresh the page now, and voila, there you go. That is the outcome. Of that. Okay. Um, if you view the source, one thing to note is uh, the PHP doesn't actually get shown. You don't see the PHP here at all, which is uh, pretty cool. It's quite secure. And um, yeah, let's carry on. Okay, the next thing I'm going to cover here is the uh, if statement. So uh, let's do a very easy one. With one condition: if five is greater than ten, echo. Five is greater than ten. Okay. Before we continue, one thing to note: five is not greater than ten. Yeah. Okay. So if uh, this condition, which is this here, is false, then we want the uh, if statement. We want a different outcome. Okay. So let's do. Let's use the else statement. Okay. Else echo. Five is not greater than ten. Okay. Um, so basically what that does, uh, if condition is true, then do this. If condition is not true, do everything after the uh, else statement, okay? Okay, so now that's been done. Um, let's refresh the page, save that, refresh. There we go. 5 is not greater than 10, as we expect. Um, yeah, so that's the very basics of the if, the if command, okay? It gets a lot more complex than that, but for now we'll keep it simple, okay? Right. What we're going to do now is uh, variables. Okay. The first thing to note about this is a variable, by the way. The first thing to note about a variable is that um, you must have this uh, dollar sign before actually uh, writing the name of your variable. Okay. Um, the dollar sign stands for string. It's a variable type, and in this case, we'll make number equal 15. Okay. Remember, I've also used a uh, semicolon after it, which is vital. You cannot forget that. And yeah, what we're going to do here is change it a bit. Okay. Um, you can uh, echo variables here. You can uh, put it within the speech marks. You don't have to put it outside, but you can if you want. I suggest you do it like that. It's just, it's just a lot easier. And yeah, what will happen here if we save that and refresh? 15 is greater than 10. Okay, so what it's done, because this condition is true, um, it's done, uh, it's echoed uh, 15 is greater than 10, as opposed to the uh, else, the else preceding. Okay. <coughs> right, now we've done that, what else should we do? Um, yeah, let's add something a bit more complex. Okay. Uh, multi conditional if statements. Um, Okay, yeah, I'll explain. Um, yeah, two. Okay, what you can do here. See these two tags. Um, basically, these two lines here. They. Uh, this is the or. Um, this is like the or thing. I'll explain in a sec. And this is or. And this is the and thing. Okay. It's quite accurate. Let me explain. Um, if fifteen if fifteen is greater than ten, which is or. Um, or 5 is 
greater than one, then echo um, true. Okay. Else echo false. Okay. Um, what this does here, if uh, 15 is greater than 10, um, then the condition is true. Or, if 5 is greater than 1, the condition is also true. Okay, so they don't both have to be true. So let's model up a bit. Okay, if number, if, if 15 is greater than 10, or 5 is um, less than 1, which that's not true, then echo true. Um, basically, this is true, but this isn't. Okay, that's acceptable because this is the or statement. Okay, so the or the or um, parameter basically says uh, if this is true or this is true, then echo what's after it. Okay. Otherwise, echo false. So if we refresh the page, we should get true. Okay, that's true. It's good, good. Right. Now let's make it a bit more interesting. Um, if uh, basically what this does is this is the and parameter. Okay. If number is greater than 10, which is true, and 5 is less than 1, which it isn't, then echo true. Okay, and it's a lot to take in. Just, just write it down, pause it, whatever, but just, just make sure you understand that, okay? Basically, what should happen is, we, if we save that and refresh the page, you should get a false, okay? Yeah. That's because um, when you specify an AND parameter, both of these conditions must be true. The conditions before and after um, the AND parameter must be true. Okay. If it isn't, you, it just it'll just it'll just it'll be false. Okay. So yeah, that's it gets a bit more complex, but that's how I'm going to keep it for now. Okay. So yeah, I hope this tutorial has helped you. Um, I'm gonna, the next one we'll be doing is. Uh, a user login page which would be quite cool and yeah have a good day I'm Rascal999 and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial